latest on June 13th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. One storm in the world at this time, it's Cyclone Vayu just off the coast of Gujarat in India. There are no other systems or potential systems active anywhere around the world at this time, although computer models suggest maybe in the long range we'll be seeing something new in the Eastern Hemisphere predominantly. It's day 13 in the Atlantic hurricane season. No systems are active at this time. The next name on the list is Barry. It's day 30 in the Eastern Pacific, so we've pretty much had a whole month over there now of hurricane season, but still no storms to speak for it. And Cyclone Vayu is a Category 1 off the western coast of India and is now likely, more likely than not, to move away from the coast. The southern hemisphere is very quiet at this time, as you'd expect for this time of year. So the main feature is really the only feature, Cyclone Value, which we're putting at 90 miles per hour and a pressure of 968 millibars, 20 degrees north, 69.3 east, 134 miles from Junagadh in India. This is what we're expecting on the forecast. Now this is an uncertain forecast over the next few days, but models have been trending westwards and less models are now favouring the landfall on the coast of India or Pakistan. It's still very uncertain, so we're putting slow movement on this model run here, but it could move more quickly than that, either west or even towards the north. It's really uncertain, it could still strike land, and indeed tropical storm force winds are lying just off the coast of the peninsula at this time. There it is. Now the bulk of the storm is still to the south and west of any land areas. Wind shear is starting to drop a little bit. Uh, getting towards more favorable levels at 15 knots at the minute according to this graphic. Elsewhere in the Atlantic things are pretty quiet. There's a little flare-up going on there in the southwestern Caribbean but not much to say about it really. Uh, a lot of dust notable there on the eastern side of the Atlantic Ocean off the Sahara uh, but really the rest of the Atlantic is looking rather quiet at this time with no cyclones anticipated. The Gulf of Mexico there as well looking equally as quiet with a little area up towards the north which could produce some rain along the Gulf Coast. The eastern Pacific looks like this. A few more flare-ups now towards the south and east of the ocean there and uh, models are suggesting that maybe we'll see some development here into the first storm next week. Um, so we'll keep our eye on that. Nothing of note right now. The western Pacific, uh, we are also getting indications that models are possibly developing one or more storms at some point next week but at the minute things still looking very quiet massive frontal system that's moving through there and that could breed one or two storms too the australia and south pacific region is very quiet at this time a uh, bit of a uh, outlandish prediction from the gfs possibly forming a storm near the solomon islands next week the indian ocean looks like this of course you can see the cyclone value that is really the only thing going on, although the Bay of Bengal also having a few flare-ups there. Sea surface temperatures in the eastern Pacific are very warm, looking at hotbed for development, early season development there off the southern coast of Mexico. It's 30 degrees plus. The Gulf of Mexico in the Atlantic is also pretty warm, 29 degrees or so. Off the coast of Cuba, Bahamas and Florida, temperatures around 30 Celsius. And of course in the North Indian Ocean, the Arabian Sea, pretty warm where the storm is right now, around 30 degrees Celsius. You can see a little cold patch where it developed um, and that will probably expand. And over in the Western Pacific, the Philippine Sea and the South China Sea is both at 30 degrees Celsius, which is certainly more than warm enough for cyclone development. So we look at cyclone value up close now. Its movement in the past six hours has been roughly north-northwest at about seven miles per hour. If that continues, it would be on track to make a landfall not far from the border with Pakistan. Uh, but at the minute, uh, the models and the JTWC now are suggesting that it will start to curve towards the west. More likely than not, but there is still that uncertainty that it could still track east. So around the world, the next name in the Atlantic, as said, is Barry. It's Alvin, the first name in the Eastern Pacific, and Akoni is the next name over in the Central Pacific. In the West Pack, it's Sepat is the next name there, and Hika is next to come in the North Indian Ocean. 
You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest information. Uh, our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text, you're probably there already. Subscribe if you haven't so far. And you can also find our Facebook and Twitter pages, search Force 13 all in text at Force 13 on Twitter. That's all for now. We'll have more updates, regular updates on our channel on Cyclone Bike. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for Tropical Weather Chat in our description.